everyone and welcome back to my channel. I truly appreciate you joining me. I hope everyone's having a great weekend. I have a collective haul and as I go through the items, I'll let you know where they're from. I'll start off with Dollar Tree. I picked up this bath sponge and it was in the Mother's Day section and it says it's infused with mint. I opened it up and oh my gosh, the aroma is amazing. I also picked up some containers. These are by McCormick and you get two in a pack. So I picked up two. And I'll let you know why I picked those up in a bit. I also placed an order with Simon Says Stamps. Now I've never ordered from them before, but I was watching Jennifer McGuire. I love watching her. Uh, I love her ideas, her techniques, and I've learned a lot from her. And she was uh, making some cards and she was demonstrating this item that I purchased. It's called Positively Perfect Placement Guides. There's a package for it. And here is one of the guides. You place that in your stamping platform to, uh, you know, get your card put down straight. And then the other guide is to place your stamps straight and it has the grid on it and uh, you know like your sentiments or whatever uh, you want to stamp so you place your card down first and then uh, place this on top of your card this grid and then place your uh, clear stamps on it close the door of your platform it lifts off your uh, stamps and then you remove this and then you ink up your stamp close the door and it should be straight <laughs> now I've always struggled to get anything straight so I thought well this is a great tool to have and I like I said I can use all the help I can get these were around eight dollars or so so um, I thought that was a great idea and for the price I thought yeah Again, I could use all the help I can get. So that's going to be great to have. Um, I also picked out a few more items. I picked out some glitter cardstock. And I think this was around $5. And you don't get a lot. But I was impressed with the colors that you get. Um, I think this was, again, like around 5 And I like this because the glitter does not flake off. So you get this color here some really brilliant jewel tones and silver so I love that I love glitter cardstock so I got that and then I got this washi tape and it's so cute I love stamping this mailbox I have several mailboxes in my stamps and I love stamping those but this would be cute to um, put along with that uh, little mailbox. They're little envelopes and they are uh, have some foiling in them. Isn't that cute? Or even on an envelope. <laughs> I thought that was cute. And then I also purchased a clear stamp. Now, I have some bird stamps in either wood mount or clear stamp, but not a lot. So I saw this one and I thought, ooh, that would be really pretty to have. So I got that. And that is all I got from Simon Says Stamp. Now, Jack placed an order through Amazon for me. And I wanted these dies. And, you know, anytime I order something, I try to uh, figure out, how, am I going to be able to use it in a variety of ways and in variety of things? So I got these dies that are, I think they're called banners, maybe. I'll show you. And I think you get six or four. Let me see if I can tell. One, two, three. I think there's four in here. I haven't taken them apart yet. And then you also get these ones here. And I think there's four of them also. And again, I can use these in a variety of ways uh, for cards, journals, yeah, you name it. And so I think these were around $6 or something, and I thought that was great. I also had Jack order this next uh, grouping of crafting um, things. 
I have been wanting to do heat embossing for a long, long time. Now, I have had the heat gun for a long time. So many years ago, Jack uh, purchased this huge, huge, I mean huge container uh, full of crafting uh, items in it, like uh, a ton of wood mount stamps, inks, um, uh, just, I, I mean, there was so much stuff. And one of the things in there was this uh, heat gun. And so since then, I've been thinking about it. I don't know if I can see well enough when the powder uh, melts and gets glossy and shiny. Well, I've been watching tons of videos and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to try it. So I had him order me this kit, embossing kit. So you get the clear ink and let me see. Yeah, here's the clear ink you get. And then I also got the embossing pens. You get a black and a clear or white. You also get, um, let's see, here's the embossing uh, anti-static powder. I think it says an anti-static pouch. You also get the little spoons. And let's see, there was a couple more things. You also get this, and I took it out of the package, these little tongs to hold whatever you're embossing so you don't burn your fingers. And it's uh, this metal tong with the silicone grippies. And then you get embossing powder. Now, I have put them in this pouch already. I got this from 31. It's a really sturdy little pouch that the little containers of powder fit in. So I got the white and the black. Yes, the white and the black. And I think all of these are by Ranger, if I remember correctly. And then I got the silver and gold. So I am really, really excited to uh, see if I could do this. Uh, so I'm going to pick a very simple image to stamp. I don't think I'm going to see when I stamp it with this clear, sticky ink. I don't think I'm going to be able to see that. But if I use my stamp platform and I know it's going to stamp in a certain area, then I think that'll help out. So I'm going to just give it a try. And when I successfully have a project done, I will share it with all of you. So that is what uh, Jack ordered uh, for me from Amazon. And part of uh, this whole order uh, I was able to purchase because my dear friend Gail over at Gail Patricia Dollar Tree Halls and more gifted me a very sweet, sweet gift of an Amazon card for my birthday. So uh, I really do appreciate her friendship and I really miss seeing her. She's taking a little bit of a break from YouTube. All right. Uh, Jack and I went to the thrift store again. Oh my gosh, we love thrifting. And we like thrifting on Tuesday because some of the thrift stores, um, actually just Savers, has Senior Day and you get a 30% off discount. So let me see if I can just pull out what I got from Savers. I think I only got uh, a couple of things from Savers. So I got this scrapbook kit. It has never been opened. It was $3 minus 30% off. And here's the kit. I'm just going to show you the kit. Let me see. Is that the right side? Uh, why does that look upside down? Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, simple set savory. And it's just a lot of neutrals, but it comes with the cardstock. It comes with punch outs, you know, instead of you fussy cutting out things, it you just punch them out. Stickers, alphabet stickers. Um, I think that is what you get in there. So for $3, I thought, ooh, that's pretty good. Um, again, I think this is for scrapbooking, but hey, you can use it for card making or journal uh, 
uh, pages or whatever. So I thought that was a great deal. Do something for that. All right, the other item, uh, Jack picked up a snow shovel. No, we don't need a really... Uh, use a we don't really need a snow shovel in albuquerque but occasionally so he didn't pay very much for it again i think it was eight dollars minus 30 percent off or something like that the other item i got i want to uh share with you is this wooden tv tray so i took another video of it so uh check this out here's the tv tray that i picked up it was $8 minus 30% off, and it's a very sturdy wooden uh, TV tray. So what I wanted this for is when I'm diamond painting, I can set my drills and all the tools that I need to diamond paint on it. Because when I diamond paint, I need to use this low vision um, piece of equipment here. When I was growing up, it was called a CCTV, but they just call it a magnifier now. So right now on the screen, you see this stamped image that I did. And if I want to color it, that's how I do it. So here is the stamped image here. Have it down here and you can move this tray around. But here's my stamped image. And so if I want to color it, I want to put it there and then I can move the tray around. And then I can also enlarge it or make it smaller. Let me see if I can do that with one hand. So here it is a little smaller and I can go as big as I want so I can color a little detail. So that's what I use when I'm diamond painting or coloring stamped images. So again, I wanted just to share that with you and why I bought that tea tray. I think it's perfect. And then when I'm done uh, using it, then I can fold it up and just slide it right next to that file cabinet. All right, that is all I got from Savers. We also went to another thrift store and it is called, um, I think it's uh, Humanities, uh, it's, a, it's a, a thrift store where all the proceeds go to uh, the Humane Society, that's what I was trying to say, the Humane Society thrift store or something like that. Anyway, I found this paper pad and it was like this, okay? And it was banded together, it was banded together, um, and it was $2. And I thought, ooh, and then I recognize that, Recollections from Michaels, and all of it is in there. So it's very, very thick, thick cardstock. Along with that was this computer paper in purple. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I use stuff like this to uh, create writing pages in journals. So got that, and that was $2. I also got this grab bag, and let me see if I can show you the grab bag. In the grab bag, there was an ink pad of archival ink in black, along with the reinker, which is full. So I thought, oh, what a great, great find, um, you know, because I'm always looking at Hobby Lobby for the uh, archival black ink, and it's kind of pricey, along with the reinker. Yes, yes, yes. And then also in the grab bag was the red archival ink. Now, this didn't have the reinker, but I thought that was okay, and it still uh, has plenty of ink on the pad. And then also in that grab bag was this uh, wood mount stamp. And then this one also, it looks like a little grocery bag. And then this little wood mount stamp, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Jack didn't know either. I don't know if it's trees or if it's chicken feet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And it doesn't say on here at all. So if you guys know, let me know in the comment section below. It could have been part of a set or something like that. But again, when you get a grab bag, you never know what's in it. So that was the grab bag. And then I got two other wood mount stamps. This one was $3 and I don't think it's been used much at all. 
it looks like puzzle pieces. I thought that would be cool. Like for background stamps, you know, maybe stamp several images or even just different colors, stamp it. I think that would look cool. So I got that for $3. And then I saw this one. And this wood mount stamp was also $3. It originally comes from Michael's and it was originally $9. And then they reduced it at Hobby Lobby to $5. And then I got it for $3. And I recognized this cute, cute little mouse. I have other stamps that I've purchased from Hobby Lobby that have this cute little mouse. But look how cute that is. I forgot what Jack said the books say, but there's one of them that is a play on words that I cracked up. So if you guys can see what that is, I think that is so cute. <laughs> I love this. Oh, what fun finds. Yes. All right. That is it for my collective haul. Oh, the other things that we uh, picked up, of course, we're always searching for little golden books, are little golden books. So we got several that I didn't have. I'm approaching, I think Jack said, 700 titles of little golden books. Again, I do resell my little golden books. So if you're ever in need of a little golden book or if you're searching for a certain title, uh, please contact me. I'm going to leave my email address in the description box below. I may have it. All right. That is it for my collective haul. I really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me for just a bit. Till next time, be safe, be happy, be positive, and you guys rock.